this is another most important thing. Maybe they will ask one question from here. So this testing of hypothesis till now, we just see, we just explore the relation, not the quantification of the relation. Okay. Like the variables are associated, related, but how strongly the p-value only gives you that it's significant or not. They will not tell you how one variable change will affect the change in the another value. Okay. So for that purpose, regression analysis is important. And regression analysis, they may ask putting a condition, few conditions and which regression is appropriate. Okay. So the first and foremost thing for the regression is regression type of regression only depends on your outcome measures, not the exposure. So if they will give you some condition like your exposure, your outcome variable is the binary, your exposure variable, one variable is the binary and the second variable is the continuous, which variable, which regression analysis is appropriate. So the first and foremost thing, don't bother about the independent variable, your covariates. Okay. So whatever the covariates, continuous, categorical, I'm not bothered about that. What is our outcome measures? And again, outcome measures, so how, what is the possibility? It may be continuous, it may be categorical. If it is categorical, it has two categories, more than two categories. That's all. So if it is two categories, then we use the logistic regression. If it is more than two categories, if it is more than two categories, then again, it is nominal or ordinal. It's follow, it, it's, it's, like, it's like male, female, other, or it's like mild, moderate, severe. So if there is an order, Ordinal regression. See, the name is also same, like your, your variable type. So regression, whatever the regression we are using, that is also depending on your variable type. So just identify your type of the outcome. Okay. So your outcome is binary, means categorical with two category, logistic regression. Okay. If, if they will put you a, a scenario like, okay, they want to see the relationship between the variable x with y, x variable having the two category and y variable having this, this, this thing, which regression is appropriate. So just okay, uh, means our outcome is uh, 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 let x and x having two category, okay, binary, which regression, logistic, okay. Ordinal mild model severe, ordinal logistic regression. Multinomial, more than two category, independent, multinomial regression. And if it is continuous, like BMI, hemoglobin level, your outcome, then linear regression. Clear? So, if you have any question till now, okay, just ask. Sir, may I? Yes, just one second. Yes, please. Sir, in the section of where we have to identify which test to use, uh -huh. is there also a possibility that uh, we have to identify whether the data is normally distributed or not? Yes. So in the research scenario, when you are a part of a research, then first you need to identify it's normally distributed or not. Because depending on that, you are going to choose the test. But in exam section, they surely give you some idea that you are able to identify that okay and the idea is either they will directly wrote it it's normally distributed like in my question i said it's normally distributed or it's not normally distributed or they may give you the mean and standard deviation so on the basis of mean and standard deviation as a layman we can also identify so mean plus minus three standard deviation will capture 95 percent of data so if the mean is more than 3 SD, 3 times of a standard deviation, then we consider it as a norm. Okay. If it is not, then we consider it as a norm. norm. Okay. But this is this is this is not a rule. Okay. This is an idea. So normally in exam, you will not prefer with the idea, you will only prefer with the rule. So probably they will give you some real concept like mean, median, mode are equal, so that you can identify it's normal. Okay. Or 
uh, mean plus minus two SD data will capture this much of data so that you will be able to understand it's normal, or they will directly mention that it's normal. That's why I'm saying they may make a big question, but the solution okay. is very small. So you need to understand what you want information from that your question. Okay. Right. So thank you.